Bring Me the Head of Nick Jr. Face is a 1997 American animated short film directed and animated by Frankie Ruiz. The cartoon was made while he was at Nickelodeon Studios. This cartoon, done entirely in cahoots with Viacom International Incorporated and MTV Networks. The short film is presented as a trailer for a full one-hour television special. The special is said to be due for broadcast on Wednesday night at 9 p.m., cahoots with Paramount Television and to be associated by MTV Networks, makers of CMT, MTV, Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, bet on Showtime but the advertisements were only announced and were not shown on the film. The short begins with the camera moving to the left side to the kids Jason, Eric, Emily, and Cupcake, who are kneeling, except Cupcake who was seen lying on the ground, in fear to the orange person who smokes a cigarette in front of the kids, as he puts a bounty on Face's head on a wall, dead or alive, and thus prompting the people of California to try to kill him any way they can. The first clip demonstrates Face telling Eric and Emily about his favorite things while their mom sets up for Face. He tells her that she is ready, but she gives him a moment as she strikes a match as she tries to get Face to kill a bomb disguised as a bear. When she lights the bomb up and calls him a idiot, Face immediately rushes off to the teddy bear but when he kills it, it explodes, and goes to the title card. Junior then appears acting like normal without his pet cat. Face comes up to him and asks Junior what happened to his cat, only for his, pet lion, not cat, Tiger like to fall on Face's head while Junior ignores Face's question. He then prepares to making a silly one but ends up getting shot by machine guns. Eric then holds a lollipop, and Face bites off his hand, which gushes blood. Then Face goes to the Viacom the Fifth of Doom which falls on him. Meanwhile, at a scene with the wall of bricks, Phoebe arrives next to Face and begins talking to him, but Phoebe ends up strangling him unconscious with a red bandana after Face recognizes that everyone is after him. Face attempts to finally escape, but he finds Jason, Jr., Phoebe, holding a spiked bat, Eric, Emily, and Cupcake running towards him. Having had enough, Face arms himself with a pump-action shotgun, a submachine gun and an M16 assault rifle, and says to the other kids, see you in hell. He then violently massacres the children one by one, with an exception of Cupcake being almost shot, but with her brain being shown. Face then gets shot in the shoulder by Phoebe with the pistol from behind, but he turns around with his shotgun, shouts bitch, and shoots, making Phoebe's head explode. The film then goes on a strange and darkly humorous montage in which Face shoots and kills everyone in his way, scores of Mexican banditos, a Wehomac machine gun nest behind which Adolf Hitler is painting a picture of a flower, and two other soldiers, and Terry Brooks doing jumping jacks, who then falls through a window. This is followed by Junior's sister, Susie, being decapitated by an axe. Following this is another montage, this time of a dragon calmly breathing fire, Kevin vomiting profusely in Willow's face, two biplanes crashing into each other in midair, Barry Wilson getting kicked in the testicles by his wife, Bonnie, which causes his head to pop off, resulting in a blood gush, one of the fuzzy wuzzies getting hit on the head with a lead pipe while laughing, Alvin Stardust getting punched in the face by Paul McCartney and King Kong squeezing coke out of a giant soda can. It then ends showing off various characters, including some taken to the hospital, some lying on the ground, one of the aforementioned crashed biplanes, and even one character resembling Ned the Fox from Ned's Playhouse hanging from a tree by a noose. Face then announces, while holding his two guns, that happiness is a war movie in a thick Arnold Schwarzenegger accent, though a newsy was never used. The screen cuts to him smoking a cigarette in bed with his sister, who, fittingly, is not fully seen, who asks Face to turn off the bedroom light and go to sleep. The song Lovin' Every Minute of It by Loverboy plays over the on credits, where it is incorrectly attributed to Lover 80s. The credits end with a note from MTV Networks. The creator of this picture wishes to state that he does not in any way wish to tarnish or demean the beloved Nick Jr. mascot face. No malice or damage to their goodwill was intended. So please don't sue the Viacom, 
because it will drag through the courts for years, and it haven't got a lawyer, and besides, you've already got half the money in the world, and it haven't got any. Okay?